Real estate is a career filled with deadlines, challenges, and obstacles. Real estate speaker, coach, and leadership expert Mike Staver says in order to remain calm and productive in times of stress, we need to use what he calls filters to evaluate our circumstances. Filters are the way in which you process information. And processing information has to do with the degree to which you focus on certain things. I'm going to give you a few of those things to focus on right now. If you're going to stay calm and productive under pressure, the first thing you need to do is focus your time and attention and behavior on the things you can't control. There are things you cannot control. There is no sense spending your time, spending your energy, spending your money, focusing on the things that elude you. Simple things like the weather. I was in, if you can believe this, I was in Minnesota recently, and it was the winter time, and somebody from Minnesota said, I can't believe how cold it is. Hello? live in Minnesota, it's cold in the winter. You don't have any control over that, so why focus on it? The second thing that you need to be able to do in order to stay calm and productive under pressure is you need to realize that all problems in life are temporary. I didn't say they were easy, I said they were temporary. Now here's a question I'd like for you to consider. How many of the challenges that you have personally faced in your life have you gotten through? If the number is any less than 100%, you wouldn't be watching this. And yet how many times in a day or a week do you hear people around you saying, I can't stand it. I don't know how I'm gonna handle it. The fact of the matter is this, it doesn't matter what happens to you in your life, you will be able to handle it. All problems are temporary. Now I don't want you to hear me trying to throw you some happy talk cliche, some combination between Mary Poppins and Mr. Rogers because that's not what I'm about. I realize that some of the things we face in life are difficult and challenging. I certainly don't want to minimize those, but what I do want you to understand is this. That if you focus on the things you can control, and if you realize that all problems are temporary, you're going to be in a much better state of mind. The third thing that you need to be aware of when it comes to staying calm and productive under pressure is the extent to which you enter into a space of gratitude all the time. To what extent are you able to focus on the things that you're profoundly thankful for on a regular basis? And my recommendation is this, I'd like you to spend every single afternoon on the way home or on the way to work in the morning thinking of at least five things you're thankful for. Now, Here's what I want you to keep in mind. One of the most important things that we face every single day is we tend to use words and use verbiage that describes our current state of being. I have a very good friend, he's the head chef at a major US hotel, and every time I ask him how he's doing, this is what he says. Unbelievable. <laughs> is that a great answer? I mean, what does that mean exactly? What I want you to keep in mind is that the words that you choose to use every day are the words that will determine how you feel internally. I want you to eliminate words like always, constantly, nobody, every time, because those big global words tend to create an over-exaggerated sense of anxiety or frustration. They can also sometimes create an over-exaggerated sense of optimism. Finally, I want you to just consider six fundamental things. When you're facing a negative situation in life, I want you to see it as temporary, I want you to see it as limited to that event, and I want you to see it as only minutely your responsibility. Because you see, if you can do that, you're gonna be a whole lot more successful. And then when the positive things come along in life, you need to do just the opposite. You need to be able to look at those things and say, I think this might be a sign of good things to come. I think that I'm contributing to these kinds of things and I think this is gonna affect many areas of my life. It has everything to do with the way you frame information. The next time you're dealing with stress, take the time to filter through your circumstances. Don't worry about things you can't control. Remember that all problems are temporary and focus on what you're grateful for. You'll be amazed at what a difference your attitude can make. Thanks for joining us.